Hiya, we're Cozzy and Micho. Thanks for coming aboard as we sail through wonderful Indonesia. We sailed away from the Kai Islands after a quick stay, luxuriating in the beautiful white sand and crystal clear water. Next stop, Bandanera, the island of fire and spice. After a hectic 200 nautical mile sail, hand steering all the way with no working autopilot, and high swells, we arrive to find the Medstyle Anchorage close to the village has no spots available. But it's all good. Check out where we get to anchor in beautiful position at the base of a Gung Api volcano with our newfound friends who are ready and willing to give us a helping hand. How spectacular is this? Oh, the smell of smoke in the air from that fire it just reminds me of Bali. What a relief! It's been nasty! But we're here, Bandanera. We've heard it's pretty epic. Now, if only the sun would come out. Hey guys! Hi! Thanks for your help. We're in Banda, baby! It is pretty specky. We're doing a bit of a tour of Bandanera and it's nice to get off the boat, walk around and check out how the, uh, the other world lives. So, we'll take you with us. Wait for me! So this is a mango peanut. No, I'm just wondering whether they... That is so mango-y. Oh, we're in this guy's backyard. I know, this is so cool. It's grey, it's not blonde. Go with blonde. Bleached. We found the perfect place for lunch. We're stopping at Ribka's and they've got a pool and lots of yummy food. So we can't wait, we're starving. Lunch cooking. at Avers in Bandanera overlooking this amazing volcano. <sighs> Does life get any better? Ganung Api is one of 10 islands in the Banda Archipelago, dominating the Bandanera skyline. 
rising a majestic 650 metres above the sea, it's an impressive welcome to this picturesque port. This active volcano has erupted 24 times in recorded history and the solidified lava flow can still be seen today as if it's oozing down the side of the mountain. The colourful coral growth it's created at the underwater base has made Bandanera one of Indonesia's diving hotspots with plethora of colourful, friendly fish. To the south is the main town of Bandanera, the largest island in the archipelago, with around 7,000 inhabitants. Whilst the town folk now live a simple, unhurried life, the historical significance of this mystical place is so interesting. When spices were a sought-after commodity, there was a thriving international trade that placed Bandanera at the forefront of every trader's mind. They were known as one of the largest producers of mace, nutmeg, cloves and pepper, as expensive as gold is today, costing as much as seven fat oxen. In today's currency, that's equivalent to 14,000 US. In fact, the mayhem these abundant commodities caused is worth your time to research and read. Much of this history is displayed all around the town, with cannons indiscriminately lying along the streets and some gnarly stories of genocide and slavery prominently described at town centre. Whilst the afflicted history is imprinted on the streets and structures, we found the people to be open-hearted and hospitable, from the playful inquisitive children to the affectionate and amiable town folk. It's well worth the ferry visit, or if you're lucky enough to live the sailing life, mark it on your navigation map. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, those were spider -Man. The Beyond Outrageous crew coming in for dinner. And so then, okay, I'm trying, yeah? Dangerous. Selfie? You guys here doing your hippie? Yeah. Hippie. <laughs> Oh, Rivka, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Two, three. Hebe, all right. So that's three. You've just turned three. Yeah. <laughs> Zero, Zero, three. three. <laughs> <laughs>
Have you had a lovely night? I have, like, had a lovely night. What, where have we been up to? So we went to Ribka's for dinner to celebrate right. Nicolau's birthday right. and it was just absolutely spectacular. Oh. So we got there at four, we had a little bit of a swim and then we had this amazing beautiful fish and chicken and vegetables. It's gorgeous. And then we got serenaded by Nikolai yeah. for his birthday. And it's just a really spectacular way to spend an evening when you've met wonderful, wonderful people and we get an opportunity to like spend time with them. It's just so cool. So and, what about you? Um, well, and we're, and we're sitting here having a nightcap in a, in a um, hotel that was apparently built in like 1504. Wow. Which is really, really amazing. Old. Sitting old. right in front of the massive volcano, yeah. which we can't fly our drone near because of the airport, but oh, whatever. I never, heard, never expected this place to have so much history. You know? Yeah. Well, when we when we sailed in, you were saying that it's really young compared to Australia. That Indonesia is young. Geologically. Geologically, we're talking about. But here, the history is here. I mean, we've been walking around and reading information going back to 1500s. It's just crazy. So yes, Bandanera is steeped in history and it's just a beautiful place to come. So and if you get an opportunity. And it's steep. Yeah, it's steep and it's steep in like history. Like volcano going straight into the ocean. Yeah. And then straight down to 5,000 meters deep. It's now we understand oh, yeah. that you can actually catch a, a ferry here. So we've had a few rock up, they're huge things. And apparently they take seven hours from Ambon. So if you are considering coming to Bandanera, it's easy to, get, easy to get here. There's an airport just across the volcano. And it's stunning. The people here, everyone smiles. It's mad. So come to Bandanera. We've got new neighbours. Sunny Indonesia. the joys of boat maintenance more boat maintenance <laughs> never never ending uh, my job this morning before we take off Ambon is to grease the hydraulic rams I'm gonna say I'm not sure if that's correct and let's hope it's pretty straightforward I've never done this before but then as soon as this is done we're going to Ambon so get on with it uh, this is the deal got to Lift these two red things and squeeze some some of this in. So that's the plan, Jan. See how I go.
<laughs> okay, so we had a bit of an issue because I don't have the right size nipple. I got one done, which is a good thing. Everyone's leaving, so there's craziness here. Um, so we're going to have to get a bigger nipple in Ambon, hopefully, and finish the job. But right this minute, I'm going to put this back on and we're going to get ready to get, get going. If you've ever been on a boat, you'll know that there's never-ending work. And last time we dropped the anchor in Bandanera, uh, our anchor winch started pulling away from the side of the boat. So we've got the crew here. The amazing crew to help us and my little job is to sand off the gel coat in the spare cabin so we can affix a new anchor winch to the top not a new anchor winch but affix it in a new place to the uh, deck it's a pretty intensive job there's a lot of work involved but we've got some experts helping us uh, Tony and Andy know exactly what they're doing and it's a learning experience for us so we're really happy but my job is just about to start.